Chapter 5. Nope. One times one times one. Uh, okay. One times one, one times one equals one. There's three, but there's one, and you can you cannot, don't even have to explain it. Because it's over. Only besides the little thing, one times one times one. That's, John that's, chapter 1 says Jesus is the creator, which you are in, you and I both agree, the creator is God to all. And John chapter 1 says, the same as the earth, the earth is the world, and you did not. And Colossians speaks about him creating all things, and all power of the Father Jehovah will be given to him with everything. You mean God's going to give up his throne to a non God? You hear my life? He's going to give all power to a non God? He's going to give power to him. But there's that fine line that we, we all can't do, that Trinity. They are one. Because I'll tell you right now, you're talking to a man who the King James Bible, that is God's paper. See, I look at it like this, King James Bible. Yeah, and all that other garbage. But why would they have to Because man wants to make money and the King James Bible is not copyrighted. I can print all the King James Bibles I want to and not get no royalties out of it. But if I make a new standard Bible, if I make a new world Bible, if I make an NIV Bible, if I were to quote from those Bibles, you could sue me, take me to court, because I use your word. Yeah. 
I could print a King James Bible right now and sell them and no one can go out and get a copyright. Hey, you know why they... Well, here's so another question I got for you about the King James Bible. Yeah. Of all the Bible translations that are out there in the world, there's many of them, more coming out today and tomorrow, why do they tax only the King James? Well, I don't know. Uh, I think they attack all. They no, tried, no, no, no. They no. used to burn them. That's right. Remember, King James was not the original. There were Bibles before that. Yep. Geneva. Because in other languages they had. And remember, these are the apostles. They the Christians were persecuted. King James came with came up with the. He, he had nothing to do with the Bible. He just said, listen, this is the main thing in the King James Bible. This church speaks Latin. Catholic Church. The Catholic Church has persecuted my family and killed me. That's what they did to King James' family. He says, I want a Bible that we can put into the people's hands that the common man would read. The common language of the time was the King's the king English. A lot of people say it's archaic and stuff like that. I don't believe it. Well, it is, because you haven't used any of those words at all. You don't use the old English. Because a lot of those words are obsolete. Yeah, well, we don't use them no more. But... No problem. Yep. No problem. But you know what? There's a lot of words today that were back then that are not used today. Yeah, so that's why, like, they used to have, like, a sample. You know what? You, you know what? I agree with you that, and, and I should use the words as the King James Bible uses it. But you, that wouldn't make sense. Why would you use it that way? They, the only reason it made sense back then is because that's the language they actually knew. That's, they understood it. Yep. But for them, you know, like the word shambles with King James back then. The meat, the meat market where the yeah, flies are over. But a shambles today is not the same as the I know. So, no, I'm not, I'm not arguing that. I'm just saying that I, I, when I look at the scripture, it seems to me, and I feel pretty strong about that Jesus, when he was on earth, he, he, what was he praying to? It just seems odd that he would have been praying to himself. It just seems Is it odd for you to talk to yourself? Uh, to talk to myself? No. No, no, no. So, not at all. So there we go. So Here he is talking to himself. No, no, no silence. <laughs> no, no, no. Come on, you mean God can't talk no, to himself? No, but he, he says in the book of Isaiah, he says, I don't in the book of Isaiah, myself. he goes, Wait a minute. I don't see no other gods around here but me. He's talking to himself. God talks to himself. Well, what I'm saying is, <laughs> but he was praying to him. That's the difference. What's prayer? See, it's one thing. It's respect for his That's what we Repair? Prayer, prayer is he's any asking, conversation you can have with God. He's asking God. He says, you know, I'm going to say, why would he ask him stuff? Because that moment he took on our sin. But and God left his... There is a moment where you bring that up. There is a moment in time when God said, turn his back on Jesus, turn off the lights. What do you heard? You know, now, because at that point, Jesus Christ became our sin. Now you say, well, who killed Jesus? The Jews or the Romans or what? He being God, he said, he gave up the ghost. You can't kill God, as you've already said. So he had to give up his life for so everything of his of the tortures and, and the, the sufferings and everything of the life of Christ through that cross was all voluntary by God. And it can't be no one else because if you were to go as Jesus as a ordinary man, then the Catholic Church is right when I go sit in that telephone book and tell him my sins to another sinner. You realize a Catholic goes to another yeah. sinner, the priest. Yeah. What's that guy gonna do to be relieve of my sin? That guy is maybe you ain't going to resolve my sin. You need a holy and righteous one to take your sins, put them under the blood. That is a Christ that you need. That is only a God that can resolve your sin. I agree. I agree. I don't have a problem. But I do. I, I, I want you to go here and put it in. I'm going to tell you how I'm going to say it. I'm going to go away. I'm going to say it. If you love me, you'll be good. Because I can't go to the Father. My father is greater than I. Why would Jesus say that the father is greater than the son? Because there's another point that you would bring up. Um, where, where's that point? He says, 
and the time and hour, no, no man knows but my father. Right. So that's my there point. were some limitations of Jesus in the flesh as God. But not, but not, uh, not God. See, either he's the Almighty or he's not the Almighty. And I agree. I agree that either he's Almighty or he's not the Almighty. Why would you say that he was greater than because there is a level of the Trinity that God is higher than the Son, and yet they are one. Okay, so you said you and your wife are one, right? You know, yeah. As the man of your household, do you make the decision in your house? Okay, there you go. You're still one, but you make the decision. There is, even though you and your wife are one, they're compatible, there's still a, a final authority figure. But you are one family. Well, so what about Jesus now? Okay. And again, then, the then run back to what I said to you before. It comes down to this. What did Thomas say? He said, my Lord, well, my God. Did. Did and yeah. Jesus did not rebuke him. Matter of yeah. fact, the next thing, he, next pronoun Jesus, Jesus answered, he said, me. After Thomas said, my Lord, my God, Jesus said, me. That is yeah. him saying, my Lord, my God, that's me. Reach out there, put your hand in the holes in my hand, put your fist through my side. Who had the holes? Who had the hole in his side? Jesus. Who is my Lord, my God? Jesus. Thomas fulfilled. Well, I mean, you are quoting that, and I did come back with another story. Jesus said, there's a difference. But, and I understand what you're saying. You're saying that Jesus, when he's on earth, he has a blessing from Jesus. To a point which I get, like I said, I cannot explain that to you before. But no I'm way. saying, if it's that, should it be that hard to explain? I mean, it should be. Even Job said, he said, he said, God, you have eyes like I have. Have you felt like I felt? And at that moment, when the book of Job was written, God said, no, I can't. I can't. John 11, 35, when Jesus wept, that's the first time God ever wept. Well, That's the first time God ever wept. It was wept, weeping at a friend's funeral. Man, he saw Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. He saw all these guys. But he never recorded that he's ever cried. Here is Jesus Christ, God, manifest in the flesh, 100% God, 100% man. And he's crying over the death of his creation. And he knew he was going to raise him from the dead. He knew exactly what he was going to do. He knew he was going to say, Lazarus, come forth from that body. He said, boy, 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 boy. And yet God cried. Jesus Christ, who is God in the flesh, has, has gone through things that God the Father in heaven has never gone through. God never died, but on the cross, he died. He never will. But Jesus did. See, those are the reasons why I would say there has to be a difference. Just because of what you just said. Things that happened to Jesus never happened to Jesus. So but it did happen to Jehovah because he's God. And that's that blind, that's, that's that eternity. You know what? You're going to go to heaven, you're going to go to hell. But you, you must believe the virgin birth. What about the earth? What about the earth? What's going to happen to the It's going to, it's going to, fervent heat, it's going to melt up, Peter said. The Bible says in Revelation chapter 21, we're going to get new heavens, new earth, uh, new Jerusalem. New earth. New earth. This earth is going to be, and it's going to give them to one group of people only. Children of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That land grant that God told Abraham, I'm going to give you a piece of land. He's going to give them a better piece of land than you earth. Well, you know, all of those. No Arabians fighting over it. No United Nations. Yeah, but there's nothing wrong with the earth. Make a bet? What I'm saying is there's nothing wrong with this earth. There's something wrong with the people. There's something wrong with the people. It's, it's, with the people. it's like if you were the tenant. And I was, you know, one of your occupants, and I refused to abide by your rules. You're getting rid of me. The house is dead. Yeah, but the house will decay, fall. It's under well, the curse. Well, this earth is under a curse. It's well, decaying. It, it's falling. It's well, failing. But it's if man was here or not. Well, no, no. If the earth, no, it's a fact. Then if you leave the earth the lion, right now, you won't find. You live long enough. You won't find that place. Will you won't find a house. It it'll it'll grow up over weeds. It. Wherever man puts a sh an iron instrument in the ground, it'll be weeds. Yeah. You know what they said that if you took away man's 
with culture wouldn't be, they would be populating with, with liars. Yeah. Man has a problem. It's the way we treat them. So you know what God's going to do? He's going to eliminate that man by a brand new body for those who believe on Jesus Christ to the nation of Israel. Where's your church? The land. We're trying to start a work down here, too. I know you've got the witnesses. You've got the witnesses quite a bit. I've had them rip the information right out of my hand. No, I'm not No, I'm saying they give me their, in the beginning they start off, here. I'd like to invite you over there to, uh, have you ever come no. You guys don't want me there because I can't shut up. We, I've had, I've had, I've had your women call the cops on me down at the farmers market. I stood outside. The, I just told them. Thomas said, "My Lord, my God." And they got a fifty fifth call the cops on me. Yes, I got, I got two people in the house away. And then the, the place over there on Tomoka Farm Road, I got a video of, of your gatekeeper. Telling me if I don't move, he's going to call the cops. What were you doing? Well, I was holding a sign that Jesus is God, and I was preaching. I'm a street preacher. I was standing at your sidewalk, not your property. <laughs> well, one thing I will say, Simon, uh, and I'm not condemning you, but I, but I, what I will say is that. As a student of the Bible, examine various translations. Uh, I think that's one thing we've done. Uh, uh, it's like I wasn't raised in the other people. So that's what it might have been, but it wasn't until 11 years ago. Yeah, right now. Oh, well, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. So we, but, but we, we know a lot of people believe that. We, I mean, we believe strongly that Jesus, without Jesus, there's no salvation. That's one thing we want to do. Yeah. Like Sarah Thomas is with us. But that salvation yeah. has to be in God. That's yeah. that missing step. And yeah, we feel that's the step that a lot of missing, that there's a God who's going to step up and so created. And Jesus was created. Jesus just did a, he had a beginning. Yeah. And that's, that's, where you, that's where you go. That's where you go. He is in John chapter 1. He made the earth and he made the world. The world knew him not. So See, that's the difference where we fall. And that difference right there, it's 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 it can be pretty. Uh, it's gonna be very hot and warm where you go. I mean, that, that difference. Well, well, I don't think that. Well, I don't think that the boat will burn us. We're not. It's not gonna burn us. It would just serve as purpose that we just got given. All right. So in Acts chapter 16, when Paul and Silas are in jail, they're singing praises to God. And that earthquake, the gates are open. I've been in prison many times. When you open up gates to a bunch of men in jail, they're not going to sit there and just hide. They're going to run. And that Philippian Joe came in from the and he says to Paul, but what must I do to be saved? Okay, there's no hell. Saved from what? What do you get saved from if there's no hell? Come on. What is there to be saved from? That's all the work, the Greek word that they use. So you're and telling me the grave is hell? Just the common grave, that's all it is. You know how wicked I am then? Well, my grandmother died and I put her in hell by putting her in the grave. Well, you didn't put her in You put her I don't know. Put her in the grave. I mean, uh, come on now, you just told me I just put my grandmother in hell. No, no. Well, Grave's the hell. Well, the and Jesus said hell was made for the devil and his angels. And he says, listen. Many people say to me, Lord, Lord, have I not done this? Lord, Lord, have I not done this? He's going to say, depart from me, you workers of victory. I have a million. Revelation chapter 20. Death and hell were cast in the lake of fire that burned forever. Your name is not the land for the life. You go jump in the lake for all eternity. John the Baptist said, he that has the Son has everlasting life. He that has not the Son shall, shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. Yeah. You guys got it as you guys got it as hate. Yeah, but that's but remember go to Haiti. Yeah, you ever hear you ever hear somebody at the work tell you go to Haiti? No, they tell you go to hell. Come on! The world is against your doctor. It's not Haiti. That's the Greek. Oh no. I've had people mad enough preaching the gospel to tell me to go to hell and they mean it. If they could do it, they put me in there. It's not the grave. 
<laughs> Death and hell, Revelation 20, is going to be cast into the lake of fire. Death and hell. So there's a difference between hell and the grave. Death and hell, Revelation chapter 20, was cast into the lake of fire. And those that were not written in the land of spoken life were cast into the lake of fire that burns forever. This is the second death. Yes. And he deposited my sin. He said to the dying thief, he said, Today we shall be in so I shall see you in paradise. He so went down thought, hell, preached to the people. Whoa! There are good people in hell. There are wonderful people in hell. People who reject Jesus Christ as their Savior. So that is the hell? sin that. See, sin, adultery, murder so, makes a sin. So I thought you said this. Yeah. yeah. So, you without Jesus Christ, without believing on Jesus Christ, you go to hell. That's the sin. In the eyes of God, if you have not believed Jesus Christ, you're saved. Yes. So, deposit our sin. He became our sin. He placed it, the sins in hell. It took the keys to death and hell. He said, see you later, guys. He visited them. He preached to them. Yes. My sins are in hell, thanks to Jesus. Yes. My sins are there That's what he did. Yep. So my sins are Now, uh, if I reject that, I go and beat up in my sins. You pay for your own sins, which is which is completely but foolish. But if they've already been paid for. Not if you receive Christ as your Savior. So you're getting what the court system of merit calls double jeopardy. Yeah, right. Double jeopardy when you've been tried twice in the same crime. But, but I don't think if Jesus would be Why would he do that? So does his power, does he have the power? I got one word for that, free will. Okay, so now I got free will. You can, you can trust what God said, or Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father, you love that one, right. but by me. Right. So the only access you have to get to God is through Jesus Christ. You reject him, he that has not the Son, capital S-O-N, John says, John 2, 36, shall not see light, but the wrath of God abide upon him. I am pretty sure it's much right now. The problem is nobody can hear this. Nobody can talk to a street preacher. I know that very well. I know you make this a shame. <laughs> no, I'm serious. You make us a change and not all of us go out and do what you do. How's that? I mean, I'm that you know, that we try and do it with a lot of people who are speaking to the God. Right now, in the Russian, our whole organization is just bad. That the Russian, they, they put on women and children. They, they, they separate them. But we're doing it because we know, we know that it's the right thing. It's the Lord Jesus did. When Jesus was in the room, he was true, they too, so true. That's the way you must be. And we do that. That he did it God. Now Jesus didn't say this. He said it's not like the right sign. He did it with the Lord. He did it with the Lord. What did he say? He said something. So he did it with the Lord. 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 Depart from the you workers of the day, but you still have your sins. Yeah. So when you still have your sins, you go off into hell. So it is true as well. And I like the word you use for you. There is something true. There is something God, the way it should be something. But the Bible, Jesus says that that happened mainly because they were able to establish their own faith. That's all. I'm, I'm, and I'm just saying from all of us. The reason we don't have to do it. And I mean, we're not even we're not even talking. We're yeah. just talking to yep. share thoughts. Just let it go. See the main That's the the difference we have between each other right now is the Bible says Jesus is God. You well, you say Lord Thomas. Jesus. Thomas, you use Thomas a lot. 
all the time. I have seen more Jehovah Witnesses that go back to me. No, I don't. I'm Spin not. their tires. Cut me. <laughs> How serious? Well, you know, I have to figure it's being hidden. Yeah. No, I'm using the only XK at work. No, but, uh, the stick to me. The stick so turns up the line. That's not how it's going. What they promised me. And was the acknowledging that Jesus was the Almighty God. My God. Well, that's true. That's no so, more you can get out of yeah, that. I mean, that's true. I can't get it. I can't take it to the world. You have a son or daughter? No, I have a son. If you had a child, right, let's say you're standing right here. Let's yeah. say you're, you have a child. Yeah. Dad! How many times does your kid going to say dad to anybody else? So, you're his dad. Thomas comes up to Jesus. God! <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, definitely. So, so just, Hope. Just, so just, just because, Ishtar. Just because the title is Jesus, doesn't hold. Not with a man that's lived with Jesus three and a half years, seen everything he's done. Yeah, I mean, he's not going to mis. He's not going to mistake God, Jesus, for another God. That's where so we come to so end. So Thomas is the main, is, would you say, is Thomas the strongest? Nope. I got Jesus' word. I and the Father are one. Yeah, but, John 10, 30. But yeah, but what, what's but, the but? He says, I and the Father says, are one. But you and your like, wife are one, right? Yeah, but we're not, she's not a man and I'm not a woman. All right. We're two different people. But you're in the unity of God, one. We, Marriage we, in the unity of God, yeah. you are so, one. So, she takes your name. So, yeah. Hopefully she took your yeah, name. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, watch how I say that. Know, but I found out in, in uh, other countries, the wife doesn't take the husband's name. The law doesn't yeah. the mandate. For man, things, but they know their husband. Man has his own things against yeah, the wife. You know that. Oh, no. It was Abraham. Sarah. Yeah, they just had, um, they didn't have last names. No, they didn't. Um, they just had names, you know. It's like Stiley and Mike. Okay, uh, you asked, that's a great name because Adam, what was Eve's name according to what we just talked about? It was Eve. Nope. Yeah, that's what the nope. Bible says. Genesis said. chapter 5 says, Adam, says God called their name Adam. Genesis oh, okay. chapter 5. In Genesis 3, verse 5, he actually says, but Genesis 5, he said, God called their name Adam. Both Adam and Eve. I was just He said, God made Adam in his image. We were about this. And he said, he created many people. It might be Genesis 3. And he says, call their name Adam. Talk about both Adam and Eve. And that's where when we get the name from us, from right back to Eve. But anyway, but see, they the should be called Eve because she was the, one, the mother of everyone. See, the thing is, John chapter 10, verse 30, the other verse there is, I the Father one. Titus 2, 13, he said, the Father and the Son, the blessed hope, that syntax and, that comma, means they're both together. In, in Isaiah, it says the mighty God, talking about the prophecy of the Messiah. The mighty God. The government shall be upon his Oh, we recognize that as Jesus. The mighty God. That's Jesus. Yeah, let's see, that's where we come to the end. No, I think it's easy to get on Because we're not here. We're not the reservoir. Let's play like this, okay? Neither one of us. If somebody came right now with, with a gun to, to your head and say, proclaim that Jesus is not God, would you do that? And then, no, I'm saying, you would say, no, I don't believe he's God, and you'd walk away. You put a gun to my head and say, proclaim that Jesus is not God, and we're going to pull the I am rest assured my salvation that Jesus Christ is God's own creator to after this kind of but go to chapter 5. Like 1 or 2. Yeah. 
Male, female, he created them on that day. And they were created. He blessed them and named them. Oh, let's say man. King James says Adam. Adam or man. It says Adam. He called their name Adam. Remember, everyone's name Adam. Yep. Right? Even his wife. The law came from the Creator, Jehovah. And John chapter 1, again, that, that Creator is the Silas. We got a. Yep. All right. All right. I'm at the same ground. I'm standing on the solid rock. Capital R. All right. Look, you have a good day. Okay.